Welcome to the CA Compliance Event Manager 5 demo video on how to monitor and be alerted when a user is granted high-level privileges. As a security professional, reacting in a timely manner to potential security breaches is critical. Your current process for monitoring when a user is granted high-level privileges is done manually. This manual process can be resource intensive. Using CA Compliance Event Manager, you can set up a policy and actions to automatically track and alert you when user IDs are granted these high-level privileges. This automated process allows for faster remediation of security breaches. In this video, you'll learn how to create a policy statement that monitors an external security manager and how to create an email action to alert you when a user is granted those high-level privileges. When creating the email action, We'll also show you how to use substitution variables to insert real event data into your email action. Let's start by creating a policy statement to capture account administration events on a CA ACF2 system. Click Go to Policy Statements in the Policy Statement Information box. You want to create an event-based policy statement, so you select Create Event-Based Policy Statement. You can build your policy using step-by-step -step pages, or you can use the single page view to see all the steps on one page. For this demo, select single page view. First, type a description of the policy statement in the description field. The description for this policy statement is, monitor and send an alert when an ACF2 login ID is granted security privileges. Next, we want to select the event to monitor, which is Administration, Account Administration. For CA Compliance Event Manager to track specific events, specify your selection criteria under Test Conditions. You want to monitor when CA ACF2 security privileges are granted to a login ID. To do so, select Command then select equal percentage sign as the operand and type security then click add now you want to set up an email action to alert you when security privileges are granted to a logon ID select email actions and type a relevant description, such as security privileges granted to a CAACF2 login ID. Since you want to be notified in a timely manner, set the priority to high. Here we'll leave the content type set to the default of plain. You can insert real event data into an action alert by adding field substitution variables. To do so, type the substitution variable into the fields in uppercase and surrounded by the percentage sign. For this demo, type a substitution variable of percent sysid percent in the from field. Doing this includes a substitution variable to indicate the SMF ID of the system where the event occurred. If a field is valid and the value exists, the field substitution variable is replaced with the value. If the field is valid but the value does not exist, the field substitution variable is replaced with the field name, followed by a colon and the word unknown. If the field is not valid for the record type, the field is ignored, and no change is made to the field substitution variable. In the To field, type the email address that you want the alert to be sent to. For this demo, we'll use securityadmins at yourcompany.com. Add additional email addresses that you want the alert sent to. For instance, type percent user ID percent at yourcompany.com to notify the user whose user ID has been granted high-level privileges that the system is monitoring these types of changes. In the subject field, type a description of the email event. For this demo, we'll use security privileges granted to an ACF2 login ID. 
In the Message field, type a description of the event action. For this demo, we'll use percent user ID percent has been granted high level security privileges. Click Add to add the email alert to the policy statement, then click Next. The last step lets you review your policy statement before saving it. Select Edit if you need to make any changes. When everything looks correct, select Create. The policy statement is then created. Now you've seen how to use CA Compliance Event Manager to monitor and be alerted when users are granted high-level privileges. For more detailed information about how to monitor security events in CA Compliance Event Manager 5, refer to the product documentation on docops.ca.com. Or visit the CA Mainframe Security Community to join the discussion. From here, you can click on the links to be directed to the documentation, the communities, or to CA Learning Paths. Thank you for watching this CA Compliance Event Manager 5 demo video on how to monitor and be alerted when a user is granted high-level privileges.